uh, looking at, uh, okay, we thought that um, by now, uh, Esperance would have been uh, presented with a trophy, uh, that those bonuses already would have been spent. But, uh, <laughs> Velile, not to be, why that Casablanca still goes to appeal at the Court of Arbitration for Sport? We are talking about, of course, uh, that uh, second leg of the CAF Champions League that never came to an end. It seems as if it's not even ending as far as court processes and all this disciplinary committee, you know, you know, gatherings that have taken place. But why that is not having any of it? They still want to to appeal at uh, the ruling of the CAF DC. And for me, uh, Elastor, this is also starting to be embarrassing now because um, it is the appeal set on <laughs> Sunday. Yes, mm. and. It upheld the decision of the DC. Yeah. Yes. Esperance are champions, champions, as we all rightfully agree, even yeah. here. Mm. You know? And now, the following day, you saw what happened. Mm -hmm. um, there was a draw for the next Club World Cup, yes. the FIFA Club yeah. World Cup, yeah. and Esperance were scheduled there. Mm. And now, these guys, um, with that, with the entitlement, and remember, this is where the second vice president of CAF, mm. uh, Likaja, is coming yes, from. Yes, Likaja. Mm. You know? Sometimes, you know, as African football leaders, we have to, got to see, Good because this is also a difficult time where Kev has also been struggling to attract sponsors, yeah. you know, and most uh, teams that were campaigning at the AFCON are yet to be paid uh, monies that are due to them, yeah. you know. So now this is, this is a bit embarrassing mm. that um, we have to go through this again. Yeah. Remember, this case was already there at CAS. Okay. And CAF returned this case to to CAF um, to, to because they said CAF have got um, the, the, yeah, competent, the, bodies, competent, competent to bodies to deal with this, with this. and it went to the competent body with us. The DC took yeah. a decision, yes. and from the DC, these guys appealed. What's new? What's new? Because CAF is not going to do anything. They're, they're just going to look at the yeah. at the CAF rules. Yes. What are the CAF rules saying? Yes. And which the CAF rules is the same thing that the DC went through, mm. and also the appeal committee went through. Mm. So I I just feel that this is a bit embarrassing. Mm. And remember, CAF is not something that they're going to speedily resolve. Mm. This. What if this thing uh, reaches a stage where the club World Cup has got to play it, mm. and it CAF has not even set yeah. uh, to, to to look at this thing? I just feel that. African football leaders have got to be true to themselves. Is you know, you cannot be talking about cleaning African football. And uh, this is also happening at a time when FIFA is also yes. here now. Yes. You know, yes. they are in charge of that CAF office. Mm, yeah. And you have... Because there's this sense of entitlement. Mm. Uh, some North Morocco. African... Uh, yeah, but... Uh, yes, the, the, North African but, clubs. But, yeah. and, uh, entirely. But because yes, I'm just you know? seeing... I'm just yes. seeing like Timothy. the right to win everything. I'm, I'm just yes. seeing here, Timothy, like, like, or just to amplify what Vele is saying, that it's, it's, a, it's a Morocco uh, FA that is, has proved over and over again that uh, it's, it's them and others come second. And this time looks like they're just struggling to come to terms that, you know what, they, they lost... Uh, this this uh, CAF Champions League second leg, uh, and, you could see the behavior and, in that match. And these for, are the people who had ambitions of me, being for, Europeans. For, for me, mm. Lester, let me tell you, we should not ignore the fact that uh, the, the Moroccans, they have got a backing for their behavior and oh, attitude yeah. and arrogance. And that's because they have got CAF captured. So if you have got CAF, Ahmed, Ahmed in particular captured, you're gonna have that kind of behavior. No, for this one, coming for from this, for this one, because what is happening this, now, right now? For this yes, game, hold they on. can they not hold have on, any no, legs no, to stand. No, hold on, Etafia. They are within their rights. Yeah, to go to Kars. To go fine. to Kars. Yeah, that's a fact. But it's not necessarily that they're gonna win. Go back to no. The, uh, listen, Kars. They are just trying the, to 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 make it difficult for African mm, football. Mm, it's mm, very mm, embarrassing. Mm. I've told you time and time again. These guys claim to be Europeans. And you are still pulling them to still to be to no, the Africa. Africa. As far as they're in this, this, this Africa. Yeah. The Moroccans need to be told they have one FA. We can as well ban them. I don't think they are not they're, welcome they're, in Europe. They're, they're they just don't bored. Apply, I don't know back. what they're doing at the office there. They're just bored. They feel like they want to cause problem every time. As far as the rightful champion, you, you abandon the game. And they say you go into Casca, say no, go to to Calf, and they declare experience winner. You must accept. They're just wasting their time. I just think yeah, just because you know football time. is Listen, played according to the rules Kaf, of the game. Calf yeah. should know? take you know authority. They are the leaders of African football on, on the African continent. Yeah. They should ban them. Simple mm -hmm. and clear. Let them ban. Them. Let them create their own league. 
and their own Champions mm-hmm. League is fine. All right, I, I think Morocco, if I, if I, out of the, okay, of the African ju- just football. Just to, to make our listeners be aware uh, what uh, the, the appeals body actually said you know, in, up, in upholding uh, the ruling of uh, uh, the, the DC of CAF. I mean, they simply say that uh, they walked out of the pitch. That's what they said. <laughs> yeah. they said that automatically just means that uh, you, you, you forfeit play. the yeah. match. Yeah. Yeah. Simple yeah. as it's that. It's 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 it was and simple and as and that, and gentlemen. It that, is uh, simple. They just said that the referee, <laughs> if you look at, they said the reports of the referee on the night, uh, said that the referee tried we, without success to plead Convince with the wider yeah, players yeah, that and, let's yeah. play the game. You can see that they, they, they refused. And they, they said we're not going to have and, any of that. And, and, and VAR is no entitlement. VAR does, does not, not mean decisions. that the game cannot go ahead. And, VAR, and remember they were even training VAR, at the time. Listen, VAR, VAR is to aid the referee mm-hmm. to help him make the decision. Correct. The referee makes the final decision. Mm-hmm. After waiting for 90 unbelievable minutes, a record in African football, or in the world, or over. Yeah. He waited for 90 minutes mm. for the players to come back. On yeah. the they said, no, we don't need that trophy. Now, when they awarded the trophy to Esperance, they're still claiming for it. I think we should buy right, it. But, 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 but you see, this is also coming on the back of what happened uh, in the KFTC. Because the Moroccan FA president, who also happens to be the, the vice president of yes, the Kaja, yeah, there was a case against him. Yes, yeah. against the referee from Ethiopia. Which disappeared. Yes. You know? There <laughs> no, was a no, case is, is indeed, and he was yeah. on the verge of being banned yeah. and something happened there. Yeah, is indeed the Now, referee. so it, this it, goes it, back it to what club, we're talking about here. Is that captured by Moroccan These yeah. guys, uh-huh. they know that... Now, they cannot stomach the fact that this is the same calf uh, bodies yeah. who are just dealing with <laughs> us like that because, you know, these people, now they're thinking... Uh, how many <laughs> uh, how many symposiums yeah. uh, we've had yeah. uh, to turn around this capable yeah. yes. and you remember they are also alleged to have even bought some African FAs yes. to to vote for, uh, for them in almost all the decisions that have to be pro um, Morocco so I, I, I think yeah, KEF president uh, Ahmad yeah. is dealing with a monster Mm-hmm. He's dealing in the month that he's been feeding, sure. and now he cannot deal with it. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, and and now this is also at a difficult time when FIFA is in charge. Yeah, yeah. FIFA is in charge of Kef. It's not like before. Yeah. Um. So we've got this Kef president, who's just a president by name, because the FIFA. actual de facto Sama, president Sama, now yeah. is Fatma. There you go. They had it. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's all these uh, embarrassing embarrassing moments that uh, you know we've seen. Calf, you know, since that thirty first of May, uh, of course, twenty nineteen, when this uh, second leg was played, never came to an end. But what is not embarrassing is that we have Twizer that uh, can cool us. I can tell you, it's very hot in here. <laughs> but we want to thank Twizer uh, for giving us these refreshments Twizer right in here. this mm. time where. <laughs> <clears throat> and things sometimes really get get very hot, but uh, gentlemen, moving on now. Yes, you know what? Uh, African football is African football. We love it, but we want it to be better. And you at home who's listening, uh, as well, like I said, it is hashtag front football. You know, tell us your thoughts. You know, things that uh, you might say that you would wish things to happen in a certain way as far as football administration is concerned on the continent, we can say that football is improving on the pitch. I think we are seeing some exciting football. Uh, for me, uh, the AFCON 2019 marvelous. I think it was fantastic. Yeah. You look at the games that are being played as well in, in club uh, intercontinental football. Again, massive, massive improvements yeah. as far as football is you concerned. You know, I know that we, we're talking African football, mm. but uh, African football also has got its stars who are playing in Europe. Yeah. yeah. And you know, yesterday, even on social media, I was just looking at people uh, praising Idris Agwe. But I'm like, these people, they are talking about him, and even when they talk about him, they talk about him, uh, yes. what he was doing at Everton. But I'm saying, he is one of the stars of the AFCON. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's even in the AFCON 11. Yeah. You know, because now if you can have people raving about an Idris Agwe, uh, who was one of the stars for Teranga Lions, and playing at the AFCON. But you know why, yes. because it's playing against Madrid. 
Yes. We said that last time. You know, yes. if you, there's a club you play against, or there's a certain club you play in that win you Ballon d'Or. Yeah. We said that with Mo, Mo, Mo Salah. We say it doesn't matter. You can play for any team. It matters because now all eyes was. Uh, PSG against Madrid. Now everybody's watching and see him doing those things in the midfield. Mm. He wasn't doing it right but, in Everton. But, but the only thing we didn't agree with him is just staying in that post. You remember the Afghan <laughs> saying that post and snapping pictures and the World the Cup, pass. The Yeah, that they walk up there. That one, no, that one we didn't agree right, with. But, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> this boy, Idrissa, was one of the stars. Mm. And for me, he's always been one of the top players. Yeah. From the time this Senegalese team went to the London 2012 Olympics, yeah. mm-hmm. he was one of the stars there. And, and 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 for me, this is this was also another way of saying, let's respect our tournaments. Yeah. Let's yeah. respect our tournaments. Let's let's respect our players. Mm. And that is why we are here every Thursday because we want to promote. We want you to know more about African football because we just feel that there's a gap there. Uh, we can't be too much consuming. Uh, what is happening in that cold continent? I think in this continent that's very warm, <laughs> it also deserves for you, the sun. Uh, or the daughter of the soil to know more about your stars and what is happening. That's why these guys they take time uh, and look and make sure that they give you uh, all the details, the analysis about African football. Talking about that, 